So, I think people will like my next project here. Uh, what you're looking at right now, this guy, I built it um, last year, almost a year ago now, and uh, I made a whole video series on it. It was a lot of fun, a lot of work too, but it was pretty sweet. Uh, I put a six and a half horsepower Subaru Ranjit Robin engine on it. it used to be, used to be right there. Um, that guy came off of my big go kart that I haven't made videos on. Um, since I put a 10 horsepower on the big go kart, but after the 10 horsepower blew up, um, I was looking for an engine for the big guy ever since, and I haven't been able to find one. Um, so I actually managed to find what I'm about to show you. And my original plan was putting it on the big guy and leaving a six and a half on here and making that a whole project. But instead, I put the six and a half back on the big guy, and now I'm putting this big engine on this guy. Uh, I'm selling the big one. Um, it's kind of worth a lot of, it's like, you know, 400, 500 bucks, so I'll make a good, decent amount of change off that. Um, but the big engine I'm about to show you just simply would not fit on the big one. I tried fiddling around with it. I thought I was going to make a jack shaft and all that, but it's just not very feasible. So, here it is. This is a 150, I think, cc four-stroke dirt bike engine with a five-speed transmission built in. Um, it's, it's not physically that large, it's just kind of powerful. It's a JL161 FMJ. I think that's a Chinese model, because like, whenever I looked it up it had a whole bunch of Chinese symbols everywhere on Google, so probably a Chinese. Um, definitely is, actually. Uh, this guy is rated at I believe it was 13.8 horsepower. And 13.8 uh, is a uh, pretty good amount of power for a little light thing like this. I'm trying to come up with a design to make this whole thing fit on this thing and make this thing do things and fun stuff like that. And it's going to be kind of a challenge. Um, making a tensioner and all that, because this guy has kind of weird engine mounts on it that I have to, uh, I have to work around. I'm going to make a giant tray for this thing to go on, and then the whole tray is going to shift back and forth to tension the chain, um, and I need to make like a kind of a bar that goes up here as a heat shield for the exhaust. And also has a kind of a, a roll bar in case your something happens. A very wide rear axle, probably not going to happen, but just in case. Um, so it hits the bar before it hits you. Uh, so that'll be interesting too. And then I need to figure out a way to make it make a tray for the engine slide and all that. Um, but anywho, that's pretty much the overview of this. And I hope to get it done within I don't know a few weeks if I work at it.